Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another video, another top five list. Uh, in this iteration, we are going to be diving into the Mystic class. One of the best classes in the game and most interesting because of Mystic Dispersion. Um, before we get into the list though, I am just going to be excluding Sigil Witch out of the... Uh, out of the discussion today just because of the main way to get her is through spending and i mean i don't think there's anything wrong with that i think she also was an arena at one point but uh we're just gonna leave, be leaving her off this list although i will say i do think she is extremely powerful and a really solid champion but uh yeah let's focus on champions that are in the basic pool right okay so coming in at number five we have black widow clairvoyant now, some people might get angry that I have her, you know, this low on the list. But honestly, there's so many good champions now. Like, just be happy she made the list. <laughs> like, honestly. Uh, and again, this is my list, my opinions here. my Through my experiences playing this game, which I've been doing for a long time. Uh, when Claire came out, I was really big on the Claire train. People, like back then, people were, were thinking she wasn't going to be that good. Um, but... I, there I was trying to make video convince people like look at her regen like look she's really good look at her damage if you build her up all the way in this phase look how much damage like I was on the Claire train man when she first came out she had like the highest base attack in the game as well at the time of her release um and I think she was really great at that time but there's just been a lot of other powerful mystics added to the game lately uh and a lot has changed um if you're going to be using the recoil masteries you know suicides then she's your goat she's probably gonna be your go-to mystic champion um well, actually that's not true there's another mystic champion that is really good with those synergy uh, with those masteries as well um but she definitely was the og mystic suicide running champion but i just man like as you see my six star is at rank one i don't use claire i just find other mystic champions to be a lot more useful in a lot of end game content i do want to take her up i do want to have her at rank three I just have had no need for it, no real desire for it. Um, I do think she is a very powerful champion, but uh, I don't know. She, she clocks in at number five. There's some other just really powerful Mystic Champions in the game. And yeah, so let's go talk about them. So coming in at the number four spot, we have a champion that was released this year uh, in the Mystic class. Uh, there's been three so far. I just I don't have any of them. Wong, Wiccan. And Rintra. And the number four spot is being claimed by Rintra. So when Wong and Rintra first came out, um, I definitely preferred Wong. Um, but th there's a big problem with Wong. And that's... He's really good. He's a great champ. He can do some cool stuff. But it's just, he doesn't really do anything better than anyone. You know, like for just so many different scenarios... He would never be the first champion to come to mind to bring for a fight. And, and that's a big problem. Like, I just, I have zero use for a Wong. Like, even if I had a ranked up Wong, I would never even know where to use him on attack. I'd probably just throw him on defense. Um, and so, I, but I liked Wong. Uh, and I, I was like, yeah, Rincha, he seems cool. But a lot of really, really awesome gameplay of Rincha has come out lately. Um, he's probably like the most rank forward champion in for Loki within the last couple of months or like of the champions released this year maybe he might be like there was just a big spike in rank for Rintras in for loki like overnight it was great we had like mike karate mike was like the only one and then we had like seven more and i see rank for Rintras popping up all over the game not just in for loki and i think it's for a good reason uh, i think of Rintra kind of as like a more is like a i think of Rintra as like a tankier version of tigra kind of you know, like Tigra, I think of her as an extremely powerful champion in the right skilled hands. That's just a neutralized beast, can do some really crazy stuff, you know. Uh, whereas Rintra, you don't need to be skill nearly as skilled with him. Uh, so of course, being the more skilled you are, the better time you're gonna have. But he does seem like a lot more user friendly uh, with his root mechanic, with his regen mechanic that he has, uh, and his unstoppable as well. Uh, and the guy can just do amazing things. He's super tanky, seems very safe to play, and he just, he seems really good at getting the job done. Um, even when that special two doesn't crit, it still hits very hard. And yeah, I, 
I never said anything bad about Rencho when I when I played him, and I said I liked him. I thought he was cool. Uh, he's just I don't think he's really my type of champion, which is totally fine. And just because a champion isn't exactly my type doesn't mean they're not extremely powerful by any means. Um, so yeah, I, I think Rintra is very deserving of this spot. Honestly, could maybe even go higher in the future. I don't know. Got to keep an eye on him. But so far, I think uh, this is still very respectable and impressive for a brand new champion coming in at number four in the Mystic class. Okay, so coming in at the number three spot, we have another champion that is uh, friendly with the recoil tree, and that is Diablo. So before Diablo was buffed, you know, when you think of like the suicide mystic champ, you, you think of Claire. But now, <laughs> it's Diablo. Well, Claire's like the queen, but Diablo's the king. Um, Diablo's buff, man. One of the absolute best buffs. in, Like I say, a top five of the best buffs we've seen so far. Like He literally went from the absolute bottom tier to the absolute highest tier. He jumped the most tiers possible. Like That is so impressive. Like Diablo was seriously... If, if you weren't playing when Diablo came out, like... It was the very start of the Fantastic Four event. Um, so, like, we had been... The game had been out for, like, four years. And no Fantastic Four champions had ever come out. And then finally, this one year, it was starting. And Thing and Diablo were the first two to release. So, a Fantastic Four hero and a Fantastic Four villain. And Thing came out, he's awesome. But then the, there's Diablo. And he was just so bad. So bad. No one wanted to use him. Uh, he, he was no good on defense, unless there was like the super crazy special nodes that Kabam would give him well, with drinking his stuff and making him like unstoppable. Like he had his own unique nodes that made him an okay defender, but that was literally it. That was literally like the only thing going for him, and he needed Kabam champion specific nodes just to be a slightly annoying defender. Like he was so bad overall, uh, and the buff just did wonders for him. Now he has incredible damage, incredible healing. He did have okay healing before his buff. I will give him that. But he had, like, nothing else going on. Now he's got the damage. He's got the utility. He's got the regen. Like, it's just such a wonderful champion. As you can see, mine is rank 1 unawakened. And I really want to play with this guy. I'm just kind of waiting to, to get him awakened. Because if you look at my Mystic class, like, I used to have du Dr. Doom unduped as well. Like, there's just so many Mystics here that I have unduped that I want to awaken. That, uh, I don't know. Like, if you gave me a Mystic Awakening, him, I don't even know if I'd give it to Diablo. I might give it to Mephisto. Uh, as crazy as that sounds, but for Battlegrounds. Uh, but again, I, I've seen Diablo do crazy things in Battlegrounds. Um, I banned him actually a lot in Battlegrounds because I don't want to verse him because he's just totally destroyed my champs before. Um, yeah, I honestly, I really can't wait to awaken him, to rank him up, and then really dive into the character. Maybe I'll, I'll look into him more if I do like a video... Once my video series where I looked at buff champs and give them a numerical value based on how good I think the buff is. Maybe once we get that series up and going, I'll do an episode on Diablo. He'll probably be one of the highest ranking champs on that series. Because his buff was just so good. I don't know where he'll end up. A 10 on the scale is a Magneto level buff. And I don't think Diablo is that far behind. I don't think he's quite that good. But he's he's close. Um, so yeah, Diablo just absolute legend. Incredible buff. And kabam, we really need to see more Diablo level buffs. Diablo, man, you know, like these champions that just go from absolute garbage to the top tier. We need to see more of that. Um, I want to see a, I want to see a really good Sentry buff next. That's what I want to see—a full rework and make go Sentry take them from the meme tier to the highest tier. That would be a dream come true. But yeah, Diablo coming in at that number three spot, uh, and some might even argue that he could go higher. It was a bit of a toss-up between the number two and the number three spot, which I'll talk about right now because the number two champion is Tigra. So, um, with neutralized, see, there seems to be a gr much greater focus on the neutralizability in the contest recently with two of the new Mystic Champions having it, with Wiccan and Rintra. Uh, Tigra being having it before more of the OG version and like I said we're talking about Tigra a little bit earlier now I, I put her at the number two spot as long as we're talking like a really skilled player um Tigra in the right hands is just absolutely incredible and can do so much 
Um, I myself have started playing her a lot more, well, not lately, but within like the last few months a lot more. And I've been really liking her. I, you know, I haven't been doing anything like crazy with her. Like the super high skill cap stuff that you see with people like using her heavy mechanic to make specials miss. I really don't mess around with that kind of stuff. I just stick to the basics and I still have a really wonderful time with Tiger. And it's incredible how much she's able to counter. Like, it's, it's wow. It's like, I didn't think she could do that. Like, like is she really, like, she can take Thing, a science champion. Like, the, the, I remember the first time I had ever heard of that. I'm like, what? It doesn't even make, what? Tiger can take Thing? Like, what? But yeah, man, like, it's, it neutralizes, is so crazy. Um, Bam did just recently change it with how it interacts with uh, ability accuracy reduction champs. So that'll be interesting to see how that turns out. I have no idea. Hopefully it doesn't uh, wreck these neutralized champions. Because uh, like I said, a greater focus seems to be being placed on them lately. Um, but yeah, I think Tigra in the right hands is easily the second best Mystic Champion. Maybe even the best in like a perfect, like in, in the hands of someone who can really play her to her full potential and then some. Yeah, sure, she can be the best Mystic, but I don't think someone like that exists. Um, so, yeah, I don't think someone that good exists. Like, it's just like never ever make a mistake with Tiger being knowing how to counter every single champion in the game, every single special attack, spacing on every, on every, like, there's no way anyone knows that for every single champ, plus the skills to like execute every time. Like, there's some people that are really good at this game, but you know, no one's perfect at the end of the day. So I think Tigra in the right hands, number two spot all day. And yeah, especially with having a lot more hands-on experience lately, I'm all the more confident in her in this position. So yeah, Tigra, second best Mystic Champion in the game. Now we get to the best Mystic Champion in the game, and we all know it's Doctor Doom. Like, we all know it. But why? Why is Doctor Doom the best Mystic Champion in the game? And there, there are people out there who disagree with it, and I don't understand those people. Uh, <laughs> um, I really don't. Uh, like maybe if you are always running suicides, you know, you always have recoil on, and you don't like Doctor Doom because like you just he doesn't fit your style. Like okay, I totally understand that, but you still have to admit how how powerful Doctor Doom is. Like there's no denying Doom. You you can't deny Doom. Like, this guy is so powerful, we're getting another version of him. Because, honestly, I, I think that's partly because he's su such a popular character, and he's become so popular in the game. That is that is a, a factor for why we're getting, I think, Infamous Iron Man, another version of Doctor Doom. Because of how hype he is in game, how much we all love him, and, and just how powerful he is. Um, And the new Doctor Doom looks awesome, but this is videos talk about mystics and so let's focus on the mystic doctor doom. what what makes him so good why why do, why do people call doom the best mystic champ like no contest why, why do people think this and the answer is an interesting one and it's it's really there's no area of the game that dr doom is bad in and it's really that simple like he is just good no matter what in pretty much every area so, Alliance War, or uh, as an attacker, what can he do as an attacker? Well, he can completely control power better than just about anyone. He literally plays his own game. He has his own, You when you fight with Dr. Doom, he controls that fight. You know, you get the Doom Cycle, it's his. Like he's it, totally in control of the fight, in control of the power, control of everything. So, c complete power control. That is huge. He has pretty solid buff control. You know, a special one can nullify, and his heavies can stagger to prevent the buffs before they even get there. So, incredible buff and power control. So, just having those two things make him a really great attacker already. What else does he have? Well, he has an immunity to shock, which is pretty nice. He also has unique combos to access to heavy attacks mid-combo. Like, that is so nice if you ever need to knock down someone... For God knows what reason. For example, you're fighting Ebony Ma. You don't want to falter. Okay, just mid-combo. 
slap them. Get out of my face. Just slap anyone you want. It's awesome. It's so awesome. Um, plus, he's got damage. You know, you build up with the Doom Cycle, a couple special threes, get two Furies, drop your special two, it hits hard, it applies some fat incinerates, and then you just watch them die. It's great. It's great. So, all that on attack is great. But then, you know, he... Even when you're using him on attack, he's a tank. Doctor Doom is literally a tank. So if you have your aura up, uh, you're not going to be able to get knocked down by heavies or special attacks. You'll resist the final hit. Uh, so that can be really good and just good. It depends on who you're fighting. For example, you're fighting a Scarlet Witch. And she hits you with her special 1 or special 2. Doesn't matter. It's a 1 hit, you're going to resist. You're fine. But let's say, you know, you're fighting, um, let's see, you know, Shang-Chi. He hits you with his special two. You're going to take a lot of damage before you resist that final hit. So his aura, it, it depends for how good it is. But it's it's a really nice, you know, safety net. But even if you do happen to get hit with Dr. Doom, um, he has critical resistance. 37.2% critical resistance and a 51% armor rating. Now, it's hard to know like, okay, those you just told me some numbers. What is that? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Because uh, these are two stats we barely ever talk about, right? Critical distance and armor rating. We don't, who cares? But on Dr. Doom, you should care because let's see, so 37, 51, 71. That's his critical resistance, his armor rating, and then his block proficiency. All right, let's go compare that to my, whatever Mystic Champ is next. And we have 0%, 19%, 65%. So, you know, most champions, they don't have critical resistance. It's not a very common thing to have. You see, like, 0%, 0%. Most champs just have none. Uh, Dragon Man here has 10% critical resistance, which is... You know, sounds okay. But Doctor Doom has literally triple that. 30 percent critical resistance 37 so like when he gets attacked there's just not a very good chance it's gonna crit unless it's guaranteed uh or you have some crazy way to increase that critical rate so you just become this amazing tanky attacker and even when you mess up you have so much room for error even if you happen to get hit you probably won't take much damage because the critical that they won't crit you you have armor rating to protect you from further damage like, it, it's just crazy how tanky Doom is, right? And then as a defender, you can see he has block penetration. Block penetration, that's annoying. <laughs> Let's see, what's the average block penetration? Let's see, it is 0%. <laughs> so that's just going to make Doom way more annoying to fight against when he's placed on defense. And I'd say Doom is pretty much equally a good attacker as he is a good defender. And he's so good at both. So you have this champion that is extremely good on attack or defense. Uh, he has the currently the third highest prestige in the game, I think. Surfer, Quicksilver, Doom. Yeah, uh, currently, I, I think the new Doom might change that order up. It seems he seems to have extremely high PI, but like Doctor Doom literally just has it all. He's got. He's, he's just he's got it all and that's why you see so many dr dooms at rank four because he literally just has everything going on and so, so that's why in my opinion dr doom is just undisputedly the, the best mystic champ so if you're ever wondering why that is why that's why i think it that's why a lot of other people think it and there's even more reasons that i didn't even talk about of why dr doom is so good so that's my top five picks for the mystic class i i know dr doom is a no-brainer and i'm sure you all saw that coming but that is my reasoning behind why uh as far as honorable mentions go so if i had to put a champion at like number six on this list you know it'd probably be sorcerer supreme she'd probably be up next um i just I, or or hood honestly uh hood has really been proving himself lately i think hood is an incredible champion uh ever since his first buff i i really liked it I loved Hood's first buff. And then they took it away. I was like, dude, give my buff Hood back. And then they made him better. I was like, 
<laughs> Never mind. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, Doom or Hood is really great. I'd say him and Sorcerer would be six and seven. Um, and yeah, guys, that's what I think of the Mystic class. Top five best champions. I hope you in enjoyed this video. If you disagree with me, please let me know why. But again, this was all my opinion from my personal experience playing this game, making YouTube videos, playing at the highest level for the last five years. So that's my opinion. So my opinion is valid regardless. But it's totally cool to disagree. We're all entitled to our own opinions. So let's just keep it nice in the comments, okay? That's all I ask. Um, and yeah, drop a like if you enjoyed. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know your top five order. Very interesting to see differing ideas. Uh, that's a big reason why I like making these videos. I like to hear from you guys too. Let's do it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe to see more content. We are coming up on 100K. Going to be good things are going to be happening once we hit that. Uh, a lot of fun content planned. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.